Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Drawings to create virtual math manipulatives and how to distribute them to your students via Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So there's actually two ways that you can do this. You can start right in Google Drawings at drawings.google.com or find it through your Google Drive, or you can go right into your Google Classroom classwork section and create a new assignment. And that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to create a new assignment, and I'm going to call this one Math Demo Assignment. And I'll put in some instructions here, and I'll say to my students something like, drag the tens units to the right side of the screen until you have made until you have enough to equal 100. Right. Clearly, I don't do a whole lot of math instruction based on those instructions there. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach a new item and I'm going to go to drawings. And we'll see there it's creating a new drawing here. And I want to set this up with some virtual manipulatives for my students. So the first thing that I'm going to do so that it lines up with the instructions that I've given here is that I am going to just put a line right down the center of the drawing screen. And there we have it. And I'm going to make that a little bit thicker so my students can see it a bit better. Now, I want to add some shapes. So I can do this a couple of ways. I can add the shapes right here and use any one of these pre-made shape formats. So I could do it this way. And then I can put a border around it again. If I want to make that border red and make it a thick border, I can do that. Now, if I drag this over, it goes to that side. But if I want to have text inside of this, I need to put in a text box and I'll put in 10. But notice I can drag those independently. So that doesn't really work as a virtual manipulative because we want that 10 to stay with the box the whole time. So what I'm going to do instead of inserting that shape, so I'm going to insert a text box. I'll write 10 inside of it. And I'll make this in a little larger font so that my students can see it a little bit better. I can even change the font style out if I wanted to and use a completely different, if you want to use Comic Sans, you can use Comic Sans if you like that. And around the edges here, I'm going to set a border weight and I'll set my border color, there's red. And I'm also going to set my fill color. Instead of just being a transparent background, I'll make it a nice like light green background. So now I have that 10 unit and if I click and drag on it, it moves together. So the number 10 moves with the rest of the box. Now, if I want to have a whole bunch of these that are exactly the same, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to copy and then I'm going to paste. And from here on out, I can just keep pasting until I have all the units that I want on the screen. And I'm going to keep pasting those. Maybe I'll have a whole bunch. So just right click and paste or just control V. And I've now pasted a whole bunch and I can drag them around on the screen where I'd like them to go. So I've now a lot put all these units of 10 on my drawing screen. And obviously, I could now create units of 100, units of 1, uh, create units of 5s, or any other 
that we want to use. So I'll drag those all around. So now I have all those on my screen. And again, the directions for the students were written here. I could also include some in instructions at the top of this. If I wanted to, I could add another text box. So I'll move these out of the way. I'll add another text box up here with a reminder of instructions and say, drag enough units of 10 to the right side of the screen to make 100. So those are the directions. And now I want to make sure I rename this units of 10 virtual manipulative. And now we can see here students can view, but I want to make a copy for each student. Let's give it a due date. Let's say it's going to be due on next Friday at midnight. And let's now assign that to my students so that they have a copy of that math demo assignment where they see units of 10 virtual manipulatives where they can then drag and drop those over. Now, if you wanna see this from a student perspective, I'm gonna do that right now. So here's the student perspective. This is my demo student who sees the assignment. And they're going to see here, there's the assignment with the drag the tens units to the right side of the screen until you have enough to equal 100. Student can open this up and they can drag these over. And we'll notice that again, when they do this, the number 10 comes with the box that they are dragging. And so you can just click and drag this way until they have enough units. Let me make sure I've counted enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need one more, 10. So I've now changed my copy here as the student and I'm ready to turn it in. And now I've turned in my version of this and we'll see that because I've turned it in, and no longer have access to it until the teacher returns it to me. So that's how you can create virtual math manipulatives in Google Drawings and share them in Google Classroom. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.